If you check my channel, you'll notice I have a series of ongoing nutrient tests. And before I started the segment, I wanted to have multiple forms of testing EC or TDS. And the best ranked meter was this truncheon, which had a practically impossible five-star rating on Amazon. So I got it, and honestly, I'm not a fan. The main thing that I don't like is the level of accuracy. Everything rounds down to the nearest hundred, and if it's somewhere in between, it's gonna bounce back and forth, and a range of a hundred isn't specific enough for me. Unless your PPM is over a hundred, this will continue to read nothing as if it wasn't even in water. The first time I tested this in RO water, I thought it was defective, but it's simply because it wasn't over 100 ppm. When I'm mixing nutrients, I want to know the exact ppm I'm adding, and in the case of my hydro, I never go over 250 ppm, so this definitely didn't work for me. On the positive, I think the most beneficial feature is that this doubles as a mixer, but that's not enough to make up for the lack of accuracy. I would only recommend this if you're strictly using high ECs and aren't as specific with nutrient breakdowns like I am. I ended up getting the Blue Lab Pencon instead, but even that is always off by 50 ppm. Overall, after comparing it to several other TDS meters, I think it's definitely overrated. If you have any questions, you could chat with us on our Discord and check out howweedgrow.com for exclusive content.